To help you comply with data protection in your organisation, including GDPR in the European Union, the obfuscation of personally identifiable information, or PII, is now available in CAPPM. From version 15.4, the PII components need to be installed via the PMO Accelerator. SaaS customers will automatically get this update, but on-premise can optionally install the content. You need to make sure that the new PII attributes are on your resource page. Administration objects, search for your resource object. Go into views. If you have a partitioned environment, select the correct partition. Go into your labor, layout edit. And it's a good idea to put this on a secure page so that not everybody can actually set these PII attributes. Go into the relevant section and then select the attributes. The job to run the anonymized resources may need to be made active. Go to Reports and Jobs in Administration, select the job and activate. If we go into a resource, if they've got contact information, this will also be ossificated. We can see the new fields are now there. The last anonymized date has not been set yet. So if we set this to inactive, and say we want to anonymize, we go to reports and jobs. And when you run the job, it has the options to anonymize only inactive resources with an anonymized PII selected which is the default. You can also anonymize all resources in the system. Now this is a very powerful action and has been made read-only in the parameters section. If you want to use this feature, for instance, to anonymize all resources in the non-production system, then you can go back into administration and uncheck the read-only in the parameters. But use this option with caution, as you can only undo this by restoring the database. There is no undo function within CAPPM. Once the job has been run, resources that fall under the criteria of run the job under, in most circumstances where they are inactive and have had the PII flag set against their resource, this will now have obfuscated information set throughout the system, i.e. the resource ID, the resource full name, the resource first name and last name, the email address and username. And you can also see that the contact information has also been removed. Also, if there are any documents that the resource has uploaded, including their avatar, these will be flagged for deletion by this particular job. And when the purge documents job runs in the future, these will be removed from the system. One technical item to note is that the DB link between the operational database and the data warehouse needs to exist, otherwise the job will fail. If you want custom attributes to be anonymized, go to Home and under Custom Objects, look for PII Attributes. And then you can click on the new PII attribute, and then any custom attributes that have been specified against your resource object will be displayed. And you can select those to be ossificated. Once a resource has been anonymized, if you add any other attribute to the PII attributes, these will be anonymized for those already anonymized because the system already knows to protect information for this resource. The full lists and tables that are obfuscated over and above the custom fields you have specified are shown here. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you have found this useful.